Today, my colleague Shannon Klo spoke with a close friend of his accused killer. And Shannon, they are of course shocked by this arrest. Well, Megan, friends of Tomas Kosowski say they are in disbelief by the news. They describe him as a normal guy using words like caring, hardworking, and friendly. Come on. Come on, Turbo. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> this was sent to me by one of Kosowski's best friends, Adam Barta. He tells me this is what comes to mind when he pictures Kosowski, a man who loved his two dogs, treating them as if they were his children. Kosowski owns a waterfront mansion in Tarpon Springs, a place friends say they would often go to hang out with Kosowski. Friends tell me he was working in Miami as a plastic surgeon, but commuted back and forth to his home in Tarpon Springs. Friends said they were aware of the lawsuit where Kosowski is suing former co-workers. They said it didn't seem to weigh on him heavily and he didn't seem to have any financial issues they were aware of. They said everything going on in the accusations come as a total shock. Knowing how Tom was and the person that he was, this is just the last person in the world that I would ever think would be involved in this. He's always helped people. I've never seen him even blow up at anybody. I've never seen him get mad. He's always been the most genuine down to earth guy. Kosowski pled not guilty to first degree murder. This as police have evidence that tie him to the crime scene. Tonight on Nightside at 11, you can hear more from Kosowski's friend. It's an interview you will only see here on 10 Tampa Bay. I'm in the studio, Shannon Klo. 10 Tampa Bay. There are still so many questions about what happened here, so we will continue to look for answers as investigators search for Kazi. We'll bring you updates on air and on our website, 10tampabay.com.